Right then, this is why I have uh, been pretty quiet recently on uh, the old YouTube-ness. It's eight o'clock in the morning, so I've still got bedhead. Um, <laughs> uh, so at the moment, we're redesigning our garden. I say we, I mean me. Um, and uh, I've got to a point where all the wood was delivered yesterday and uh, I've lined up all the decking bits that we're gonna have. I'll show you, I'll show you. Here we go. So, um, all the wood there for the decking, there for the feet. Um, we're going to be putting the um, slabs down over there um, and then that frame, it's not screwed in yet, that's just to see if I've got enough wood. Turns out I've got enough wood. Um, so yeah, that's all ready to go. The, the only thing I haven't got is long enough screws. So I'm going to have to go jump in the van and go get some screws from a DIY shop down in Otley. So that's the first job today. Come with me. <laughs> I don't know what we'd do um, if it weren't for alcohol and DIY. I, I would, uh, shall I say, I don't know what I'd do if it weren't for alcohol and DIY. <laughs> sort of doing my van, doing bits on the van, and you know, rewarding yourself with a beer at the end of the day. I mean, it got to a point where I'd install like the world's smallest bit of wood just so then I could have a beer at the end of the day. <laughs> So many screws. Oh, my lungs. So I didn't do much filming today because, um, well, I've been building a decking and um, it's nothing to do with owning a van, is it? So, uh, but anyway, the decking I've got to a certain point. Some of you have already seen it. That's uh, that have seen the picture on Facebook and um, after a big hard day's work you just got to light a fire and have a beer aren't you so that's what I'm doing light a fire have a beer burn some of the offcuts from today and uh, how burning my foot <laughs> in fact melting my foot um, and then um, go make some dinner and chill out I think the weather's gonna be all right tomorrow so I might get some more done which is nice and then, uh, and then get on that walk, because if I can't do anything on this because it's throwing it down, I might as well go out and have a, have a bit of a bimble. Uh, like I say, this video is going to be a bit sporadic, different places, different bits, but uh, it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. I do. I run into the wall when I'm bored. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. <laughs> whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop. Na, 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 na. Right then, guys. Uh, not done any filming for a bit because uh, I just thought I'd crack on. But um, I mean, I've not painted it white. It's just gone white because of the snow. Uh, but it's almost finished. Uh, I built a decking for the first time in my life, which is properly ace. Um, so yeah, that's uh, not if you can see. So that's the full decking area there, which is massive. It's well massive. It's it's massive to us because we're not used to having that space, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I built the deck in, and then we did have a planter down here anyway. Uh, so I got rid of that um, and built in what I had left with the decking boards, uh, and then decided to do exactly the same on the other side. And then uh, we decided to put steps in the middle, uh, all the way across, rather than um, just at one side, which is what we were going to do. Which means I've run out of wood. Uh, so I have to go get some more. In fact, I've just got like the tiniest little bit of uh, decking board left. My lord, it's cold. Ridiculously cold. So what I've done is I've taken the uh, headrest off here 
uh, and basically the planks of wood let me just make sure that's out of gear yeah the planks of wood went all the way to the back and came all the way through here and all the way to there and that was a 3.6 meter length um so i probably wouldn't advise it even if you've just got a normal short wheelbase van you're not going to get 3.6 meter length planks in here without coming through this now if you've got one with a bulkhead on it you're not going to get them in without chopping them up so uh, i think you see the 3.6 are the slightly shorter ones well, exciting driving in the snow it's not plugged in is it no oh right obviously there's a car coming sit there for 45 minutes nothing comes as soon as i put my car into reverse road turns into m62 we'll spin las vegas oh somebody on their bike hardcore it's really cold no thank you as much as i love cycling no thank you today no thank you right so it turns out that you can actually get five 3.6 meter decking planks in your van i'm driving ooh, i'm driving pretty carefully now because they're sort of pushed up against the uh, front windscreen uh, and any uh, any bashes or anything like that it's literally just going to go straight through in it <laughs> so there there you go look at them smashing it oh bashy 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 right then just so you know and just so i'm not advocating it as well um i reckon five planks uh 3.6 meter lengths of decking board not advised uh, it's really pushing up quite tightly against the windscreen um which is just not good um Certainly if I had to brake really hard, I only had like a really short journey to do, regardless of that, I mean, it's still pretty dangerous. So I would say get 2.4 meters um, because that will fit quite comfortably in the back um, or only maybe three, 3.6 meter ones and get them secured in or get them on a uh, roof rack. Yeah, I'm not, I'm really, really not advocating doing that <laughs> at all. And not only that, those planks have been outside and they are frozen. Look at that, the sun on my face. I've forgotten what the sun looks like. It's not direct sun actually, it's just shining off a window. <laughs> but anyway, it's better than nothing. So, um, I've moved on from the garden. In fact, I've had a couple of days off the garden just because you just get, you get absolutely shattered, don't you? And then you get to a point where you think to yourself, do you know what, I'm rushing this now because I want to get it finished rather than enjoy it. So uh, I've left it a few days, there's still loads to do. Um, done like the most bulk of it. There's still a little mini pond to go in. I've still got to finish the flagging. Um, I've got to do the uh, decking lights, um, there's a bit of mud to move and then eventually get all the ground flattened so then we can put some grass down but obviously it's a bit too cold to put grass down now, as I've probably mentioned before. Um, like I said, I think at the beginning of this video it's going to be pretty random uh, but uh, some of you have asked for um, more of an escapism kind of video so yeah, we're going to do that. So today I'm going to take you for a walk. I'm going to go to a beautiful area uh, called Deer Park. Uh, it's a walk from my front door. I'm going to take the cameras just in case there's an opportunity. The sun is out, uh, but it's about minus 500 outside. So yeah, probably in this video, um, uh, but probably not today, but it'll be today for you watching this video. I'm going to take the van for a run as well. Um, do maybe 30, 40 miles, take it on the motorway, clear the DPF filter, get the battery fully charged up on both leisure battery and car battery so then it's ready for if we need to use it in an emergency um because obviously it's been sat on the drive for a while yes i go up to aldi and back but it's like four miles away which isn't really good for the engine and that's the only trip it's doing been doing that once a week so uh totally essential in my eyes to keep your uh, car functioning right let's go for a walk let's pack the bags so i'm taking the a6400 with the 7200 lens on it. I'm also taking a Fuji X-T2. This also has a polarizing filter on and then the filter adapter just in case and then some extra filters, some extra batteries. Tripod always. Um, I'm gonna take a coffee with me. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'm gonna take a coffee with me. So that will go in there. And then what else am I gonna take? In fact, let's do this as B-roll.
So I've had to change up the bag slightly. Um, so instead of taking the um, Sony camera with the longer lens, I'm literally just taking the uh, the Fuji XT20 because I've realised I'm going on a pretty long walk and I'm going to need some food along the way and uh, water. The bag that I'm taking is brilliant. It's great for just like a day bag or whatever if you're taking one camera. But if you're going on a longer hike, you need to take some food. It's not great. You know, it's not a large bag. It's quite small. So, I mean, you can tell by the size of the tripod that, you know, it's not a large bag. I and mean, that's just a bag of almonds. There's my water. There's my camera. And then I'm going to have to put my dinner there, which is the thing that I'm making in this it's a thermos flask it's brilliant again probably something else that you guys are going to want to buy and basically what i use it i can't speak again basically what i use this for is making noodles or boiling the bag oh alexa stop awesome probably set all your alexas off now Anna. <laughs> proper eh? um alexa play rock and roll music everywhere <laughs> alexa stop no i'm only kidding stop shush so it's a thermos flask and what I normally do is I shove a uh, boil in the bag inside it in hot water. So I'll, uh, let's cut a long story short here, let's make it really simple. Right, so, so these French lentils that I normally boil in the bag, I'll boil in the bag at home. So these are hot as. Then I will pop them inside the tin. Obviously I've scrunched them up a little bit better than that. And then I'll pour hot water in there, which then when I put the lid on, it keeps that super, super warm throughout the whole walk. I mean, it's like boiling. The beauty about that is that when it comes to taking this out, this is already in its, uh, in its pouch. You can eat that, but then there's just about enough water to make a small coffee on the go as well, and it's super boiling. It's literally like ski Sunday on here. <laughs> the hill that would normally take me. Oh, five minutes to climb up is now taking me ten to do three yards. <laughs> it's literally look at this. Yeah. It's full blown ski Sunday. Oh no, I'm off again. I'm off, I'm off. Uh, surely there's another route. This is only good. Oh, there we go. Right. No, 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 no. Whoop. No, I'm off again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look, you can see the water moving down inside that. Crazy. And this walk's lovely to do at any time of the year, but when it's been snowing, it's just beautiful, absolutely stunning. The Chevin is just full of little rocky outcrops like that. Great views and just loads of different paths that are just beautiful. And you know, I do this. Uh, again, sorry if there's any wind noise on this because um, I, I've taken the microphone off um, I say I've taken it off, I forgot to bring it, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I, d I mean that. There's a view of like Yorkshire at its finest. You know, down there, little town of Otley. There's a lot of ice here. <laughs> and the sun's shining on it today. Everything's all right in the world really, isn't it? The sun still comes up. And the views are still great. I like looking at it, I don't like photographing it because it never does it any justice. That's using like a long lens and zooming in and stuff. Anyway, I come on these walks because they are literally for the head, you know? 
uh, no matter how long your walk is or how short your walk is or where your walk is when I get back I always feel better that I've been out for a bit you know wherever it might be and I know it's not far and I know I'm really really privileged almost to be in an area that I live uh, but still just getting out and doing a bit of exercise is awesome for the mind not only that it means that I've burnt a few more calories which means I can have a few more beers <laughs> Some of you are probably asking, uh, why didn't I bring Branston? Now on this walk, last time I did bring Branston and he absolutely loved it. But this time, I've come out for me and my camera. You know, sometimes just me and Branston is a great combo. Because he listens, he's a really good listener, is Branston. So yeah, Dale, that combination, just my, one man and his dog, or one woman and her dog, it's just a great combination for the head but today the combination for the head is one man and his camera the thing that i like about this walk as well is it's different every time every every different time of the year it's different you know and you go through different terrains you go up you go down you go through sort of rocky outcrops like this uh, to sort of vast open landscapes like that to like things that look like scandinavian forests and uh, you'll get to see that because I'm walking that way and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going through a place, well we're definitely going through a place called Deer Park uh, but hopefully the name speaks for itself and we get to see some deer, that would be ace so I've just crossed uh, a road called, funnily enough, the Shevin um, and immediately the terrain has changed it's absolutely stunning, I mean it's, it's gone full alpine now you know, tall straight trees and just genuine awesomeness. I can't remember now, I think I go up this way a bit and then I drop down. Uh, it was a route again that I just made up one night while I was bored. It's not a particular kind of follow a path kind of route. And they're all on paths, but they're just quite unexplored paths. What I like to call the non-tourist route. So obviously by the time I've posted it on my uh, Facebook page, it'll become a tourist route, won't it? <laughs> Gorgeous. That noise though. Gorgeous. And yet again, the, uh, the scenery sort of changes again. You end up in like deep, deep forest on the path. There is another path a little bit further up. So this is a way more interesting one. Just slightly left of the main path. Still a path, but uh, slightly left of the main one. And it just... It's pretty dark in here, you know? <laughs> it's uh, mental. I got some really nice shots actually in this forest. Uh, I'll pop one up now, it's a, uh, it's like a corridor into the soul, if you want to be all arty about it. But it's just basically the sun behind the tree and it just makes it look like it could be going anywhere. I really like that one. Hopefully it's come out on this. Fingers crossed, eh? Right, so I need to be down and back up that, which I don't think is going to be. Should I go up there instead? Well, let's go down and up, because without risk, there is no reward. And there might be an awesome photography opportunity down there. But that's kind of a bit more acceptable. Oh, have I mentioned that I love it when the sun's out when it's icy? Maybe once or twice. Don't like when it's icy and I'm going downhill though. Not in these welly bobs. Yeah. I 
some great ice formations down here. See, I knew coming down here would be worth it. There is. Down there as well. Right. Might get a close up photograph of them. I just have to go back up the other side, which is just there. And I just came down there. But not far. Just a bit more treacherous when it's uh, icy. Two thousand eight hundred subscribers, something like that. That's way more than I thought we we're going to get ever. <laughs> so thank you. I don't do it for the subscribers. I do it for the love of making videos, you know. Hopefully you guys like that too. This is more of a adventure, less of a pop top. But uh, like I say later on in the video, I will be uh, posting some van stuff as well so I know who are you, you'll not see them I've not even got I just turn my camera on as well not even got to deer park and I saw two deer two deers two deerses and they were absolutely camouflaged I wasn't even looking for them and they're over in the distance teeny tiny dots so are right over there you just can't see them at all not on this wide angle lens and i've not brought a zoom lens to zoom in on them because i took it out of my bag remember mention it while I was sat having my dinner the bird did a massive bab on both cameras so I've just had to like dig it out with a stick and then wipe it down with a lens cloth the only cloth I've got really so I'll have to sort of disinfect them when I get home fortunately the GoPro is waterproof so I just took it out of its housing and washed it in snow but it was right in the mechanism at the top there yeah, I want to get back get sorted have a look at these photographs as well and uh, hopefully might even be able to get out on a ride in the van today so i'll see you in a bit journey that uh, I personally deem essential um, the van needs a run basically it's just been doing short runs to the local shop and back again and that's not good for the diesel particulate futa futa that's a thing actually yeah so look up what a diesel particulate futa is uh, because that's part of the um, 21 point 21 gigawatt system that's in the flux capacitor in the back some of you might not have that so just google it um, so I'm going to a place um, near Wakefield it's about I think it's probably about a 30 mile round trip uh, so I'm going to go to a, a park for night spot um, on the canal and then basically have dinner and then come back again uh, so it gets there it settles and then it gets a good run both ways Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll have one. Amazing. 
Do you think you saw me? No, don't be daft. Oh, please. <laughs> right, so the DPF filter's clear. Sorry if that's noisy, I've got the kettle on and you're practically, uh, <laughs> you're just above the kettle on my new shelf. Um, so yeah, the DPF is cleared now. Um, basically just taking it for a run on the motorway for 40 minutes an hour has absolutely done it. The world of good, I just need to drive home now. Just so happens when I got here, it's dinner time, I'm hungry, so might as well get the kettle on. I've not even had to get out of the van, uh, apart from to take one photograph. It's super muddy out there, I'm not doing it again. I'm barefoot now because my feet are absolutely caked in mud. Um, it's a park for night spot. Um, basically right in front of a canal I'll show you it's a bit steamy in here because I've got kettle on it's just it's quite industrial um, but yeah I think my gas is running out look at this of all the times for my gas to run out it was today I'm not changing it over until I get home. So I'll just see. I'll see how good it is. I'll see how much it boils. Make my cuppers and then set off, I reckon. Giving the gas bottle a bit of a shake has uh, increased the flame a little bit. So it's gone down like that. Let's give it a shake. Cool. Okay. That's fine, I've got the other gas bottle out, I just sort of sod it, I might as well change it while I'm here. And then uh, if I drive, when I'm driving back, if there's a, a place to exchange these gas bottles, I can swap one over, you know, so we should be laughing. In fact, I know exactly where I can get another one. All because I don't want to get outside. This is why, right, this is why it's better to get a single seat and not a double swivel seat. The double swivel seat is a pain in the ass to spin round and you can't just jump in the back without doing some sort of Krypton Factor manoeuvre. Right, I've got everything there. Um, imagine getting stuck here, like the phonic police. Gracefully does it there. I mean that. That is how pros do it. Nice little area, look. Um, I'm in the same area, it's just looking a different way, that's all. Uh, the canal's there, and um, I think the van always looks nicer when the sun's shining in it, doesn't it? Looks really nice. So yeah, I've, um, I'm just going to have to put my shoes back on. It's really annoying, that light, isn't it? Maybe do this. There we go, lovely. Yeah, you're going to have to put my shoes back on, otherwise I can't drive anywhere. And now it's just a case of just flying back. Oh, it's really close, that, sorry. Um, just flying back on the motorway and going home. It's been actually really nice to get out properly and not just, not just do Aldi. Right, like and subscribe. Love you all. See you. Bye. Nice as that. Lovely. 25.